All right, what is up? What is good? And welcome to K Plus Gaming Corner. We are here today with a little bit of a blast from the past. We are taking a trip back into Remnant from the Ashes. A couple of you guys have been mentioning over the last couple of streams, hey, you know, Remnant from the Ashes, we've been talking about it, and I've been saying, you know what, I wouldn't mind firing this back up, jumping back in, visiting some old friends in some uh, old and some current places like Isha. But yeah, I wanted to hop back in <clears throat> and run around. This is pretty much my first time playing Remnant from the Ashes in almost a year. It's been that long. I can't remember the last time. I got to look back and see exactly when the last time I was playing was. But happy to be back in. I'm not even sure I remember what the hell I was <laughs> doing the last time I was in here or what I was trying to do but it looks like all right so we got the alternator and the curse of the jungle god i remember this gun i remember this being pretty good um the alternator i remember liking a lot and for the gear now let me see the black rose the wearer's chest armor set bonus is increased by one piece yeah because in remnant from the ashes it really did matter what armor you had on it looks like for this one um Okay, yeah, so which one looks like I got two pieces of this and two. All right, so the mystic armor, I have the bonus of two. So I got 30% extra damage. All right, cool. 10% ranged and weak spot damage. And I got the hunter's band for another 10% ranged and weak spot. And <laughs> this was uh, the dead king's moment in the, in the new remnant two. But this Eslin's band here, we're getting some extra health. I think I'll just leave things the way they are now. Again, I don't remember. We can look through maybe a little later to see what the other armor sets are. But I'll leave it as it is right now. And I'm going to hop into a new adventure. We're on apocalypse mode, so I'm not going to go easy on myself. Um, yeah, and I decided to, we're going to do ROM. I have not been to this land in quite some time. Should be fun. Should be fun. And by the way, welcome in. I hope everybody's having a good weekend. Wow, look at this. I'm telling you, when I fired this up for the first time <clears throat> yesterday, I was like, oh man, the memories. Like, oh yeah, I remember these dogs used to be annoying as hell. These enemies were a pain in the ass, too. Wow, I'm running around here for... Oh, and I, huh, Remnant from the Ashes. It actually did benefit you to run around breaking everything you could find. Every piece of pottery, every vase. Remember, I used to play this with Venom. He would meticulously go through every room breaking everything oh shit all right first death four minutes in i i had to expect that though all right let's uh slow down here and <clears throat> get our bearings still feeling a little under the weather by the way so i'm clearing my throat and doing that kind of stuff uh, sincere apologies i'll try to minimize that as much as i can hmm. try out some of the other weapons too let me see so alternator what else so i have salt rifle beam rifle i remember chicago typewriter Devastator. Oh, yeah. The Eye of the Storm I used to like a lot. Fusion Rifle we have. Particle Accelerator. This is pretty much a Star Killer, right? In Remnant 2. Repulsor kept the same name. Uh, good old Ricochet Rifle. The Ruin. <coughs> I got a couple of things here. Spore Bloom. 
All right. My switch and mix and match as we go. <clears throat> Now, the map, I remember, took some getting used to. Just because depending on what direction you're running in, the map doesn't change orientation for you. So you could be like, wait, I'm trying to go left. But on the map, it looks like you're going right. But it's only because you're coming from a different angle. Oh. What are my mods anyway? Oh, wow. Look at that. It's a nice mod. All right. Cool. Oh, shit. All right. <laughs> Let's see if we can get through this full biome. It's like riding a bike. Comes right back to you. I mean, this game, it's not like it's <clears throat> different in terms of the mechanics or anything, but definitely is different, though. Oh, shit. Okay, it's uh, too many of you guys. All right, let's calm down. Let's be reasonable here. Jesus Christ. I don't even think I've seen an elite yet. I got to get used to not having an archetype also. So we're going to be relying on these mods. No skills. Right? Unless I'm forgetting something. What's this? Talisman of Animosity. I don't remember what any of these things do. Dude, wouldn't it be dope if... <clears throat> with the new DLC, we found ourselves back over here. That would be definitely dopeness. Oh, shit. Oh, god damn. Oh, no. Wait, hold on. Are we having some issues streaming? Man. As usual. But I think we're okay for now. All right. <clears throat> yeah, I figured doing this on Apocalypse Mode wouldn't be easy, but... We ain't scared up in this bitch. Hold that. Hmm. Now that's pretty cool. I'm remembering <coughs> the Remnant 2 version of that. I don't remember it being as dynamic. Although, no, the Remnant 2 version moves with the enemies. It's not as stationary, so that's... They actually did improve that. I wouldn't mind seeing some of these weapons in the new DLC also. All right. <clears throat> I hear a dog. Where you at? 
I hear the dog. I don't see the dog. Oh, there you go. Shut that dog up. Oh, shit. Bitch. Mind yours. Now, let me see. So, got some blood root. <clears throat> I hear these mangy mutts growling. But are we almost to where we're supposed to be going? I think maybe. Hmm. All right. So the first dungeon. <coughs> it's good to be back. It's like I'm back home. Hey, Hutch Gaming, what's going on, man? Hope all is well on your end. I was actually checking out Hutch Gaming. Definitely check out his channel. Show him some love. He was playing some Outriders last night. I think this morning also, if I'm not mistaken. I was checking you out on your Helldivers adventures, and, uh, yeah, once again, thanks for stopping by the stream. Alright, let's see what's gonna happen up in here. These dungeons on Apocalypse, no joke, but... Yeah, look at that. Getting that much scrap? Jesus Christ. They're really depriving us in Remnant 2. I haven't seen this much scrap breaking down the appliances in <laughs> months. It's been a long time. Oh, shit. Those things are annoying as fuck. I must say though, Remnant <clears throat> from the ad, it still holds up. It's still like obviously Remnant 2 is going to look better and all that kind of stuff, but this is still not bad. Like if I picked this up th for the first time, I'd be like, "Okay. Let's go. Let's get it." Compulsion loot. I got to look at all the rings, too. I don't remember half of these rings, what they do. Uh, yeah, there's like two of those things. Which reminds me, the boss version of this is no joke. Everything is under control. We got this. Is there another... Oh, shit. I'm like, that elite music never went away. Ah! Oh. My man was poisoning through all my shit. Like, nah, man. I'm coming for you. <laughs> Took care of you, though. Get out of here. Now. Not sure if I'm going the right way here. Oh god. Fuck. 
Yeah, that didn't go well. <clears throat> But I gotta remember, all right, if I'm in these areas, this is my inventory. Um, what's the one that helps against the radiation? Yeah, this stuff. I'm gonna definitely need this. Assigned to quick slot. Let's put that here. Yeah. We're definitely gonna need that. And if I remember correctly, the radiation that... <clears throat> Affects your stamina, right? Pain in the ass shit. Oh shit. Huh. All right. <laughs> Okay, what now? What Who's here? Who's that? Is that you? Alright. He's still coming? Jesus. Jesus. Oh, there's another one over there. Come one, come all. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't want that. Keep that to yourself. <clears throat> Someone yesterday was saying hard level here is more punishing than apocalypse level on remnant 2 not sure if i'll go that far but this definitely is I'm, I'm seeing chunks of health going down off of just minor hits i'm like oh god shit like right there like what the fuck It could be, too, that maybe I need to put on some better art. Oh, this shit. Fuck that thing. Hell no. Um... Okay, this thing is um, stalking me in a certain kind of way that I, I, it made me uncomfortable. Shit. Now I need ammo. Okay. Uh, am I going the right way? Yeah, apocalypse here. I'm 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 on my toes right now. I'm like, oh shit. It's interesting in terms of me streaming today it was between this and dragon's dogma i've made some decent progress over there although there's an a cyclops ogre is kind of kicking my ass right now when i do head back over there people seem to really be upset about those microtransactions though and the more i thought about it i'm like you know what people are right i mean there's people that think ah so what i want to be able to skip content if i want to just don't pay for it if you don't want it but i actually do think it's better to at every opportunity we can just discourage these developers and companies from doing this sort of thing because even though right now it might not be a big deal next time it might be though next time they'll 
it, it, it'll be worse. It'll it'll re absolutely be pay to win in some sort of way where it won't just be paying for to avoid some inconvenience. We got to we got to discourage this sort of thing. The only time I think that's even remotely acceptable is in a Fortnite kind of thing or some kind of play uh, free to play sort of game. It's like, OK, fine, I guess you have to monetize in some way. But if the game is eighty dollars, I, I don't want to be seeing anything about pay, pay for what? No, I've paid for the game already. Everything I need should be in the game. Microtransactions. No, uh-uh. So, yeah, I agree with the people that are upset about it. Although there are others that are like, oh, you know, don't don't be so upset. It's not that big a deal. It's not that deep. I disagree with that because, yes, it might not be that deep today. I just think about, yeah, but what about what's going to happen tomorrow? What's going to happen next year, two years from now? I mean, they're already talking about $100 games coming around. Uh, was it Grand Theft Auto 6? And people are like, yeah, I'll pay $100 for it, which, okay, sure. But <laughs> you're going to get those games, and then those will have microtransactions. And it's just a slippery slope we, we should really try to avoid. Those are just my random thoughts on the issue. But what do I know? I don't know. Whatever. We're not playing that. We're playing this. All right. Looks like we've made it through the dungeon okay. All right. Hey, Venomous Crypto, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. Good morning to you as well. <clears throat> I know you've been playing Dragon's Dogma. What are your thoughts on the issue? Do you agree with the people upset about the microtransactions or, or are you on the side of those saying ah, it's not that big a deal uh, it's boss time the hive this is going to be that dude right yeah we absolutely should sit at the checkpoint i just remember this boss being a pain in the ass but i don't we're gonna find out right now exactly what this entails all right hello sir remember me the guy that used to kick your ass every day I'm back I remember always pitying this enemy it just seemed like he's just in pain. Oh shit, I forgot. Fuck. I totally forgot about the minions. Shit. Okay. This is going to be interesting. All right. <clears throat> so I have to be mindful of them also. Oh, first of all, I mistimed that badly. Second of all, that's a one shot. Jesus Christ. <coughs> all right. Oh. Let's try this again. Oh, wrong thing. Now, I'm not going to lie. I don't expect this to be pretty. But we're going to see what we can do here. Oh, shit. All right. I, get, I need to have my head on a swivel. Let's take some of this. Get that radiation shit off of me. Hell no. Throw some tentacles around. Oh. 
Um, where is our friend? Oh. The fuck are you standing over there for? Oh, shit. I know at some point he's just gonna go crazy and have all kinds of just fuck shit going around. We want to avoid that. Let's see. Let's grab some ammo. All right, your buddies are coming up to me. All right, nope. <clears throat> Let's come around this side. Yeah, when all that sh radiation shits are flying around, I'm not a fan of that. <sighs> okay, okay. Alright, I know the <clears throat> little add-ons. Yeah, I know you're around here. Oh, shit. Motherfucker. Alright. These dudes are stalking me. Leave me alone. I don't even think I needed a heal there. Don't panic. Don't panic. Come on. Ew. Yeah. Fuck. Ah! You know, I was... Tr I'm so used to the one mechanic in terms of refilling your ammo, pressing the... Well, in my case, the left um, bumper... Damn. I'm too used to playing Remnant 2. All I have to do is press left. Uh, let me see. Microtransactions suck. Yeah, that's why EA is hated. Because they were behind the popularity of microtransactions and mystery boxes. And Vito, you said, personally, I'm torn on microtransactions in games. I don't understand the ones that let you skip actual content. Because that's the point of playing that. Uh, oh, because what's the point of playing then? In free-to-play games, they make sense. I agree. That's what I agree with. Um, but there is that contingent that's like, yeah, but if I work 40, 50 hours a week and I don't have time to grind all these things and I want to pay an extra $5 to skip something, why can't I? And I hear that too because I'm like, damn, I, I work too. I, I have a pretty busy schedule. But the thing is, no, no. I, I still say you can't encourage that kind of behavior from the devs. And let me see. There's more you said. You said, overall, just let me pay for a game and get what I'm paying for, I guess. Loot boxes suck, though. Uh, Venomous, you said, at first, I thought it didn't purposely... Pur I, okay. At first, I thought it didn't seem as bad in this game because it's a single-player game with no competitive element, but the developers are purposely making the games a grind to offer microtransactions. That's pretty much what it is. It's the... What is it? The Mahalian... Am I... Where they you, you present a problem, but then you also present the solution, and the people don't realize you're the same person. So it's like you're behind some issue and then you step forward and say hey like that's basically what the developers are doing they're purposely making the games inconvenient and then they sell you the convenience again i don't think that should be encouraged at all especially in a game that's a full price triple a sort of like this is capcom like fuck you need the microtransactions for you guys 
You definitely don't need the money. You're just being greedy. Very greedy. And like I said, today is pay for convenience. Tomorrow it really will be pay for pay to win. In a way where it, it'll be too late. Too many people are too used to it. It is what it is. A whole new generation's coming up saying, ah, oh, it's no big deal. We're used to microtransactions. We're used to games being released not in its full state. It is what it is. Let me actually focus on what I'm trying to do. I'm like talking a lot here. Where are your buddies at? I know your buddies are in here somewhere. Oh, uh, fuck. A man over here is coming like a superhero. Oh, shit. All right. All right. Uh, he's about to spaz out. Hell no. Let me go somewhere safe. Fuck this. Ah, oh, shit. God. Fucking damn it. All right. Um, hold on just a moment. And let me just make sure. Um, Hegelian dialect. Yeah, Venomous. Thank you so much. Hegelian dialect. Yeah, if you guys don't know what that is, that's basically when an entity, be it the government or some business, they are the ones behind the problem, but are also the same ones behind the solution. But you you won't know that they're the same. It's That's the case. I hope I'm explaining it right. I'm probably not, but that's basically what these developers are doing. They're purposely making the game inconvenient, i.e. in Dragon's Dogma, no fast travel. Oh, you want to fast travel? Guess what? We got you. Pay an extra $10. And I'm like, oh, hell no. And um, let me see, infamous SSJR. Thanks for stopping by the stream. Appreciate you hanging out and uh, lending your voice to the matter. He said, "Live service games killed the gaming industry." Damn. Um, and that's why I play games like Grim Dawn, Remnant Outriders, single player. Never go wrong with those ever. I appreciate that. Thanks for chiming in. And hold on, just a moment. Uh, Mom Dukes is calling now. Hold on, give me just a second.
All right, I'm back. Had to talk to the mom dukes real quick. Sorry about that. Um, might even have to cut things a little short. Sounds like she's going to be stopping by a little bit later. But um, Vito, you said, yeah, I've largely migrated to only single player games on top of waiting until they've reached their terminus. Then I'll buy the ultimate edition at a discount and have a fun experience. That's a, that's a way to go. I hear that. I hear that. But it's one of those things where when it comes to the microtransactions, the only way we can really fight it <clears throat> and combat it is to just simply not pay for them. Make it more inconvenient for them to put it in than it is profitable for them to put it in. Whereas like, yeah, we can do all that. You can put it in all you want, but no one's actually going to buy it. The problem is you're always going to have someone that's going to do it. Ah, okay. I need to... Let's focus. I feel like I was close on one of the attempts. We we're going to get this done. Let's... And again, I remember this boss being a pain in the ass when I was playing this all the time. Okay. I think the strategy needs to be give him a couple of licks, some good hits, and then just look out for his buddies. Get rid of them. Rinse and repeat. There's too many times I'm just not paying attention when I should be. Like right now... Now we wait for your buddies to pop in. Problem is, they come from all different directions. There we go. Okay. Wasn't there another one of those guys around here somewhere? All right. Well, <clears throat> there'll be more spilling in soon. Oh, shit. Fuck. God damn it. I, I think I have the right strategy. <laughs> I just need to execute. And Vito, you said all they need is a few whales and it'll never end. That's, and that's the problem. That really is the problem. Is there... Oh, from the perspective of the developer, and a lot of these companies, I mean, companies in general, it's it's a profit incentive. It's bottom line. If something's even a little bit profitable, they'll think it's worth it. You have to make it so th that kind of action will cost them money. They don't like when things cost them money. That's the only way. You have to make it more inconvenient for them, basically, to put it in. But, yeah, like I said, it only takes a couple to make it obsolete. But I would still say, but yeah, but you still have to try, though. You still have to speak with your wallet whenever you can. And not just assume... Uh, a couple of people spoil it anyway, and uh, what's the point? No, make sure they don't get your dollars. Okay, heal. Okay, he's... He's in... Uh, Go nuts time. Get that out of your system. Ah. These dudes are sneaky as hell, too. Because I'm looking for them, and I'm still kind of not seeing what, you know, no hit you from behind in a certain kind of way. Okay. Okay. 
stay away from him when he's doing all that shit. You sneaky bitches. All right. <clears throat> Oh, shit. That's the other problem, too. I like knowing that, okay, they're coming out two at a time kind of thing, but, like, no, nah, it could be, like, three or four of them running around. And you don't always see where they're coming from. Okay. We're going to have to take our time with this. It's fine. It's fine. Where is he, by the way? I don't even know where this guy is. Where the fuck is he? <coughs> there you go. All right. All right, there's a penis chasing me. Two of them. Oh, sh God fucking damn it. Uh, in veto, you said, I was hooked on the Destiny grind. Uh, Destiny was another one. Uh, on and off for a couple years, and that one started to get pretty egregious. Had to quit and find new stuff to obsess over that wasn't costing me so much. That's what it is, man. That's how they get you. Even with those um, like mobile games. It's even worse than mobile games. You'll be spending so much money, but it's like, death by a thousand cuts kind of thing because you won't notice it until after a while you're like damn a couple dollars here a couple dollars there that's how they get you man it never seems like a lot they're not gonna just ask for like fifty dollars at once but it'll be something that will add up to fifty dollars over a, a shockingly short amount of time too you'll be like wait a minute it didn't seem like I was spending this much money, but I just worry that that's the future of gaming, which it seems to be. Just like, you know, we're slowly but surely realizing it, it ah, we're at some point, we're close to not having uh, physical copies of games anymore. It's only going to be digital copies. And then that has its own whole can of worms that comes with that. But that's that's these are all the areas and the lanes that we're heading in. Future of gaming. Not all of it looks good. But Again, what do I know? <clears throat> Oh, <laughs> there are times where I think I have the distance, and I clearly did not there. Oh, uh, Venomous, you said, am I playing on PS4? No, no, I'm on uh, PlayStation, uh, Xbox. Remnant from the Ashes, I only have this on Xbox. It's Remnant 2 that I play on both Xbox and PlayStation, but... <laughs> yeah, I'm currently on Xbox at the moment. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. I totally did. And I was just about to say, too. One thing I'm noticing playing this game after playing Remnant 2 for so long is 
when it comes to the boss fights, the the minions and the adult they're they're more annoying here. And I remember that for like when I first fought Gorfist, that one of those first bosses you fight back on Earth. It took so long to get through that boss fight because of the ads. Oh, fucking these dudes. Like this dude's already annoying enough without these dudes here. It's already a problem. I think I'm straying from my <clears throat> from my game plan. Give him a couple of hits and look for his buddies. Yeah, see? Get rid of them as quickly as possible. And then go back to this dude. Oh. Guys, they're around here somewhere. I know it. Show yourselves. There you go. That's one. Oh, and I have to assume there's three. Because I keep thinking like there's two. But I'm like, no, no, there's three of you guys. And of course, as I. Like, I know what to do, but goddamn. Uh, let me see. Uh, mobile has always seemed like the biggest offender to me. They nickel and dime you constantly. Shit. That ain't the truth. And then you said, are there benefits to making more than one character in Remnant 2? Um, not really. I don't really see a reason to unless you really just wanted to start fresh with a new character and start with a different... Like, I did that. I started fresh with a gunslinger when I think the first time I, was, I played was with a handle. Like, that kind of stuff. That's fun, you know. And maybe you want to start with um like an apocalypse run or something where if you did the original campaign you did it on veteran but otherwise not really there's no reason to have two characters other than if you start like a, a fresh hardcore character that i would say is worth it just because some of the rewards you get doing a hardcore run are definitely worth the effort Especially if you can complete the campaign and get the savior. Highly recommend because the savior is crazy. Especially if you can corrupt it. Get a corrupted savior. A corrupted savior is uh, chef's kiss. Definitely dope. Oh, shit. Fucking cocksuckers, dude. You know, playing this game too, I do miss the different relics. Like right now, it's, what is it, the dragon heart? You just get the one. But you have so much more variety in the ways you can heal and some of the benefits I can get depending on which relic you use. And you get the relic fragments too for even more customization. Now, nah, Remnant 2... <clears throat> Remnant 2 is definitely a much better game. But this is still a dope game. Because what it is, is Remnant 2, it it built on top of this. It didn't change anything. It didn't... It, it's not like... Like, there's a difference between the Division and Division 2. Oh, shit. Like, there's a definite difference there. Ah, oh, shit. Did the wrong thing. Fuck. But I feel like Remnant 2, it's the same game, but better. It's not like other sequels. Like, like the only thing that I would say with Remnant 2 is I, I just maybe wish the armor sets that you wore mattered. More than just the armor value, like how much armor it gives you. But I'm like, eh, that's you're splitting hairs there. There is the argument, I think it was John Doe was saying this yesterday, that 
Remnant from the Ashes, this one is the more difficult game. <laughs> and judging that, I've been on this boss fight for a little while now. Maybe. But there's some boss fights in Remnant 2 that are also out of this world annoying, depending on what's going on. Is this one harder? Maybe. But, again, I think... You know what? <coughs> Sorry, maybe it is. Shit. Um, and Vito, you said, there are still a lot of systems that are kind of overwhelming, so I haven't gotten into a lot of stuff. I haven't re-rolled anything or jumped into adventures yet. Um, yeah, I mean, you want to do all that. I mean, I'm the kind of person that when I'm playing these games, I like to collect all the rings and all the little trinkets you can get. And plus, I mean, this, both games... The replayability, the replay factor is off the charts. So, yeah, even if you... <clears throat> you can have your one character. You don't have to, like, create a whole nother character to kind of keep going and all that kind of stuff. Like a game like Outriders or Diablo 4. That's kind of what the fun is. It's like, okay, let me create another character and tackle these same problems from a different perspective. You can do that with one character in Remnant. Oh, with Remnant 2, just because of the archetypes. You can mix and match different archetype classes really infinitely to your heart's content. So you don't necessarily have to... What the fuck? Create a whole nother character to experience and get all that you can out of a game. Hold on a second. All right. Okay. Okay. I swear we're going to get through this boss. We've been here for a while now. I'm looking at the time. <laughs> but even if I don't, it's been fun being back in Remnant from the Ashes. Especially being back in Rom. I'm getting my ass kicked left and right, though. You know what? Let me look at something. Maybe I can give myself a little bit more defense. Because we are all damaged and all that kind of stuff. Let me see. Uh, all right. If I wanted to go with something else. Like, don't I have... I have, the, like, the Lido shit, right? The Sentinel armor is basically the same thing. Stagger reduction. Is this going to put me... In, um, am I overburdened, basically? How can I tell? Weight 46. Yeah, I feel like I'm fat rolling a little bit. Um, so. Wait, we still have the bright steel ring here, right? Yeah. This used to be my go-to. All right. Now I feel a little more light on my feet. Might be able to take a punch a little bit more. And um, so we're gaining 25% stamina cost. Well, minus 20. And then one stagger reduction. So I don't think stagger has been a problem. Let me look at the weapons too. Mm. Uh, how do I... Let me see. Oh, no. I'll put that back on. And how do I adjust the mods again? Uh... No, hold on. Oh, it's not removable. That's what it is. Okay, so the altered. All right, so let's do something else. The assault rifle. I want to use a weapon that, yeah, like Eye of the Storm or something. Uh, something that you don't get in Remnant 2. Yeah, let's go with Eye of the Storm, maybe. Where is it? But I also want to do something where I could put the mod that I want on. Like the beam rifle. I keep doing that. Hold on. Uh, oh, change mod. Here we go. Alright, so what the hell mods do I have? Let's see. There's Breath of the Desert. I remember this being pretty good. Cold Spear. Uh, fan of Knives. Hunter's Mark. Huh. 
skills. Oh, I have a turret. I remember the turret here. Mm, Rift Walker Stormcaller. Conjures. Uh, nah. You call it, huh? Our summon. Unstable quills. Hmm. Veil of the Black Tear. I remember that being pretty good. I think what I'll do, maybe I'll stick with the summon. But I was also, oh, Frozen Mist, though. Hmm. That was also pretty good. There was something else I was looking at. What was it? Oh, no, it was Breath of the Desert. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, let's, let's go with the beam rifle. What does it do again? All right. Let's see how this goes. And hold on just a moment. All right. <clears throat> All right. Let's see if this may fare a little bit better. And you know what? Although, no. I want to stick with the handgun because that mod is doing some life steal. So let's keep that going. This might not have been smart. He might be resistant to these things. Oh, this gun is definitely dope. This is um like the plasma cutter in Remnant 2, I think. Isn't this similar? I think so. Ah. Uh, my man was creeping in like, ooh, he doesn't see me. Okay, okay. I sw like, are they going out of their way to come from behind me? Because there's too many times <laughs> they get me from behind. It's not even like, like, it'd be one thing if I see them coming and I just fucked up and didn't dodge right. But I'm getting the sense that, like, no, you're going out of your way to not let me see you coming. Fucking cocksuckers, dude. Hawk sucker. I gotta stay looking behind me at all times. Like, yo. Alright. Head on a constant swivel. Like, even right now, shooting in one direction for too long is dangerous. You gotta turn around. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not sure if we're doing better this time, but maybe I'm just being more aware. Oh, God, yeah. All 
right, all right, all right. Crazy. Where are your buddies at? I know they're around here somewhere. There they go. Well, two of them. Where's the third one? This is definitely taking a while. Really, because you're so worried about the fucking <coughs> the minions. And again, they they go out of their way to sneak up on you. Okay. Oh shit. Frick. Yeah. We're like just now getting them down to half health. I see them because they, they're like they're not coming straight on too. they're like coming around corners penises yo you sneaky bitches I see how y'all move man all right uh, he's doing his nonsense so let's go over here all right I see you I see you Got it. Oh, fucking. Oh. Come on, man. All right. It's all stick and move right now. Oh, come on.
You gotta be. Oh, God damn it. Uh, unconditional. Hey, what's going on? Thanks for stopping by. And uh, Venomous, did you see the changes to Diablo 4? I, I was watching, huh, speaking of Diablo 4, I was, um, they had the campfire chat the other day. I was watching some of it. Seems like there are some positive changes coming in for Season 4. I know they, they extended Season 3 a little bit because they're going to be doing one of those PTRs to kind of like test everything out. Make sure everything is sound and on point. But, yeah, it seems like for the most part, I don't remember all the details. That was a couple of days ago now, but I remember people being uh, fairly pleased by some of the changes and additions. Like, I know when it comes to the aspects, um, the codex of power, I think it is, right? There's going to be some improvements to that where you can get some higher roles in your, your codex. And some other stuff. Yeah, for the most part, yeah, people seem to be into it. I'm not sure if I'm going to be playing. Like, I haven't... I screwed around a little bit in Season 2. I didn't play any of Season 3. And I'm undecided if I'm going to play Season 4. I don't know. My first instinct is to say probably not. Just because there's just so much other stuff happening. Shit. I got... You know, with all, everything we're saying about Dragon's Dogma, I am playing Dragon's Dogma right now. I'm still playing Remnant 2 and pretty much sharpening, our, uh, you know, my swords for the DLC for that. Um, What else do I have going on? You know, we, we have the Elden Ring DLC that's a couple months away. I, I don't know. I don't know if Season 4 of Diablo is going to be a thing for me. But who knows? I don't know. We never say never. Oh, shit. Bitch. I like this gun, but maybe it's just him. He's, like, resistant to this. Like, I don't feel like I'm doing enough damage. Like, this is taking too long. Bitch. Yeah, I'm going to try. I like the mod, though. I think I might stick with the mod. The mod. But I don't know. Let me see what other options I have for weapons. Let's see. The Ricochet rifle could be interesting here with hot shot. Let's try that. As much as I used to love the Ricochet rifle. Let's see if this gives us better results. Plus hot shot. Yeah, getting some fire damage. Some dot ticks could could be useful. All right. is definitely useful against his uh, buddies that are running around. Yeah, I think we're I think we're doing a lot better now. Uh where do you go though? Shit, do I have one left? Fuck. All right, all right. 
Oh, shit. God fucking. God damn it. But I think we're... we're I, I like how this weapon is performing. Um, if you could give the devs at Gunfire 1 a piece of advice that isn't related to fixing the bugs in Remnant 2, it would have to be making all future Remnant content as scary and heart-stopping as Remnant from the Ashes is. That's some good advice. Yeah, sure. Wait, so you don't think Remnant 2 hits on the scary factor? Like, those bosses are a little timid compared to this. Now, when I think of, like, say, this boss and the unclean one, if you remember the unclean one, and I'm sure there's some others. Yeah, there's some definitely unpleasant boss fights in this game. Gorefist. Gorefist was a fucking penis. Hated Gorefist. But like a boss like this, like when you hear him yelling and screaming, like he just sounds like pain. Like someone just like, it's not even his fault. Like he's just an unfortunate experiment gone wrong. And now he's just running loose. And it's more like you're putting him out of his misery. than you're like killing him. Like you're like putting him like, like this boss fight in particular is pretty disgusting actually. And yet I'm still here. All right. I like how the ricochet rifle is doing, but I'm losing all focus and composure. Let me refocus. I think I have the tools that I need right now. It's a matter of execution. All right, where are your buddies at? They're going to spawn from anywhere, really, but I got to be ready for them. Like, when I haven't seen them for a while, I'm like, they're probably right behind me. Case in point. Penises. All of you. Sneaky bitches. I'll take that. Fuck. Alright, let me lead him over here. Oh, I think went away. Fuck. Oh. Fuck that up. Still looking okay, though. Where's Buddy? All right. Okay.
this guy go? All right. Fuck. Oh, penis. You guys aren't over here. Fuck. Out of ammo. Oh, shit. <laughs> we got him down to all that effort to get him down to like half health. Really, because you spend most of the fight running for your life, really. And avoiding these pricks. gotta be kidding me man i should have had him uh let me see pyromania and by the way if i didn't say welcome to the stream uh definitely appreciate you stopping by you said uh not really um the bosses aren't that scary the world's too bright well lit up hmm it, except for Nerud, which is just bland that's interesting um leo uh Losum, well I guess you might have a point there. Even the sounds you hear walking around the world are less scary in Remnant 2. Remnant 2 is like Remnant from the Ashes meets, um, what's BO3? What am I, I'm not thinking of, uh, where Remnant 1 is like Kronos from the Ashes meets Resident Evil. Um, BO3, what am I, I'm not sure what you're f referring to there. Um, hold on just a moment. Again, hold on. It's an interesting comparison, though. Remnant 1 to Remnant 2. Well, Remnant from the Ashes to Remnant 2. Most people will be like, hey, no, Kronos is technically the first Remnant game. But you're not wrong. I don't think I played Kronos too much. Like, I think I ran around, like, a little bit. I always just thought that game was bugged out just because I think isn't that the one where as if you die you actually age like that's the punishment for death I just thought that was fascinating actually but I don't know because I feel like with Remnant 2 in terms of the scary factor Losum is a pretty creepy place and the sewers aren't very pleasant either. Like me, in terms of what I would like to see if there were any new biomes or anything like that, I want to see another resum, like another snow place. I always thought that was a dope location. Although I hated the one boss that you had to fight where you were kind of on this snow platform and he kind of jumps off and he'll be like hurling stuff at you. But then as he's hurling stuff at you, he's like 
burrowing holes in the ground where now you can like roll into a hole in the ground. I hated that boss. Matter of fact, there were a bunch of boss fights in this game that were just a goddamn pain in the ass. Including this one that I'm stuck on right now. Although this one, it's a fun fight. But it's very annoying. It can get frustrating. Especially since we've been close a few times. I see you guys. Oh, shit. Why are there like four of you out here? I just killed two and two. Like, man. This wouldn't be bad if they kept it to two at a time. The fact that you have no idea how many people. It's. It, it, man. It's annoying. God damn it. Oh! My man moves all slow and is in the middle of it. it <laughs> until it's time to strike. I could have sworn he was like 10 feet further away. Oh, well. Oh, Black Ops 3. Oh, okay, that's what you're referring to. Oh, so Remnant 2 is like Remnant from the Ashes meets Black Ops 3. Okay, I can see that. Oh. I'm wondering, <coughs> sorry, if I should try another mod, though. Let's go back to uh, Breath of the Desert. That one seemed to be doing some good work. Oh. Fucking. Frick. Another annoying thing about this place is there are so many ways for those dudes to hide until the last minute, and then they just attack. Like, they definitely have the home court advantage up in here, man. Oh, come on, come on, come on. All right. Inevitably, your people are going to be coming. See, this is what I'm talking about. They just swoop out from the corners. And you're like, where the fuck did you come from? I think they're even more insidious than that. Like, I think he was, like, waiting for me. Like, I'm not even going to reveal myself until the last moment. It's too late for him to dodge. I'm pretty sure a couple of my deaths have been like that. I'm running through a lot of ammo boxes here. Uh, 
Okay. No, thank you. Like, I swear to God, you can't spend more than, like, two seconds facing one direction. You gotta turn around. Constantly. Hmm. Maybe if I change the battlefield to, like, right here. In theory, I would always see them coming, right? I can't screw around over this. Hell no. Tight spaces, not ideal. Not here. Right, this has been a fair attempt. I still have eight heals. Huh. Out of ammo again. Jesus Christ. All right. Oh, shit. Did not see. Oh, God damn it. All right. Where are our buddies? Oh. Where is this guy at? I feel like as the fight has been going on, he's been getting faster. Like, I'm like, what the hell are you doing over here, man? You were just over there a second ago. Fuck. No! Oh! Fucking Christ, dude. Uh, let me see. Vito, you said, I've been enjoying the variety of biomes and even genres, they did a good job making it not feel clunky going from sci-fi to fantasy to gothic horror. And so, yeah, that's what, that's a good way to, gothic horror, loathsome. Like when you say loathsome isn't like a scary looking place, I don't know, like I kind of disagree with that one. I agree, Yisha, like Yisha was always like the plush lands and all that kind of stuff, so I get that, yeah, that's never been, but that wasn't really a scary looking place in this one either. Ah, bad attempt. But Losom, I don't know. Like Losom, doesn't Losom give you Bloodborne vibes? Like just not the kind of place you want to be running around at nighttime? Alone, even in the daytime? We're starting off okay.
You have no idea how bad I want to use a skill or something. Like, it's in my instinct to be like, wait, <laughs> don't I have another option of attack somehow? I'm out of ammo already. We just got here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Damn, y'all tried it. Almost had me. Look at me talking almost had me. Like, they haven't been kicking my ass for, like, a half hour straight. That's the beauty of these games. I only need one victory. I only need to beat you once. Fuck you. Oh, shit. All right, this hasn't been a bad attempt. Oh, God. Of course, as I say that, I get jumped from behind. All right. Good time for a heal. Good boy. Why am I out of ammo again? You. Mm. Alright. Where is our good friend? Like, where the fuck do you guys be coming from? Like, god damn. chipping away we're chipping away oh no of course as i say that god damn Ugh. pretty sure i just jinxed the shit out of myself damn it Uh, this 
boss fight is stressful, man. Two of those out there. Damn. He like totally avoided those things. No, 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 no. Come back this way. What are you doing? This guy has a brain on him. He knows what he's doing. Wow. What an asshole. Like a constant game of hide and go seek. Shit. All right, I will heal. Let's not play any games. This is where it gets painful if we lose. No! Oh! oh. All I needed was to uh, clear the space. Ah, oh, man. Uh, Pyromania, you said what they should have done in Nerud is have sections of time where the wind would blow the fog through the world, clouding your view for a few minutes at a time. That's, eh, I'm not sure if I would enjoy that. Uh, and, uh, Vito, you said, I found myself getting snuck up on most in Lowsome, which made it much scarier. Lowsome is one of those places where the enemies damn near blend into the background. It's very, very annoying running around there because I've been stuck in my back a couple of times just because I didn't see a dude chilling out in the corner. Damn. I might have like one or two more attempts in me. I'm looking at the time. I'm going to have to sign off in a little bit. Ugh. The mom dukes is stopping by. Plus, I'm going to have to help her out with something. So, I might have one or two more attempts in me. I want to end on a good note, though. Although, like I said, it's been good firing up the old remnant from the ashes. Getting back into it, but god damn this boss fight. I should have had the last one, but it is what it is. Can't cry over milk that's spilt. Where's this dude at? Oh, if you're gonna stand right there, by all means. Stay right there. Is there a reason why he's not moving? I mean... Like, sure. Uh, here he comes. Alright. Looks like he had a brain fart for a second. Which I took full advantage of. No! Oh! Of course, as I say that. What a waste. Ugh. I 
I guess this is uh, Exhibit A. Maybe Remnant from the Ashes is the more difficult game. But I think it's more just you don't have as many tools at your disposal. Like in Remnant 2, we would have some extra mod damage coming from our Relic. We would have some extra skills that we could do. Or some extra bonuses from the skills. Like a Rampage or something. You would have your Prime perks. Like if I was a challenger right now, I'd have a way to cheat death. Which, speaking of which, don't I have... Huh, maybe I should put on the Black Cat Band. That, this could actually be... Worth considering. We do have a cheat death mechanic. Yeah, I'm going to try. I'm going to do that. We're going to put that on. Maybe that will help. All right. Let's try. Um, all right. I'm not being staggered here anyway. Let's do... Oh, no, that's the amulet. I forgot. Amulet and then two rings. Ah. All right. Um, okay. I'll do that. And then I'm going to go back to what I had on before. Although with this range and the weak spot, this would give me damage. Uh, crit chance and crit damage. 20% maximum damage. Uh, roughneck, 15% damage. I'm going to go back with this. 30% extra damage. But this time, right? We got the black cat band. Okay. Oh, come on, come on. Have I already used it? God damn. Hilarious. Still better to have it than not to have it, I think, right now. You're not coming this way anymore? Oh, man. Move, move, move. All right. <laughs> I wish we had Enigma or something like that I could use here. I feel like Enigma would be my best friend right now.
Hawk suckers. All right. Still doing okay. We're doing all right. Not bad. Grab all this free ammo. Thank you. They would have killed me just now. They still might. Look at these guys, man. Me. Right. Okay. We've somewhat recovered. Alright, I can survive another fatal blow. Cooldown has completed. Alright, where are you? Get ass. Where is this guy? Oh, he must be right over there. All right. Where you at, buddy? All right.
Oh, come on, come on, come on. Man. I got two heals left after this. Where is our friend? Oh, what the? Come on, man. Damn. All right. Well, it is what it is. With that, I'm going to have to sign off. Man, I wanted to end off on a good note. But, uh, yeah, my mother will be here any minute. And I got to get ready for her. So, anyway. <laughs> all right. Appreciate you guys hanging out and appreciate the discussion. Yeah, we we're talking about some interesting things today. Um, yeah, good stuff all around. Appreciate the likes too. If you haven't hit the like button, make sure you do so on your way out. Definitely helps out the channel and would be greatly appreciated by yours truly. I should have some videos out over the course of the week and uh, fingers crossed we might be getting some updates and some news on potential DLC release dates and all that kind of stuff for Remnant 2. So let's keep an eye out for that. And, um, yeah, I'll catch you again live next weekend. Uh, same time, should be. And, um, yeah, we'll see what it is. So, again, thanks for hanging out, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Until then, peace.